Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. Bootstrap is a popular front-end framework that simplifies the process of designing responsive and mobile-first websites. Integrating Bootstrap with Laravel can enhance the appearance and usability of your web applications, ensuring they look great and perform well across various devices. In this video, I will show you how to install Bootstrap in Laravel 11 application. First we will install Laravel 11, and after that we will install Bootstrap in our Laravel 11 application. Before installing Laravel 11, ensure that PHP 8.2 is installed on your system, as Laravel 11 requires a minimum of PHP 8.2. I have already started Apache and MySQL in XAMPP server. Right click and click on Open in Terminal. Type the command php-v to check the PHP version installed on your system. Here you can see that PHP 8.2.0 is installed on my system, which is the minimum requirement for Laravel 11. Here in the Laravel documentation, you can find instructions on how to install Laravel using Composer's Create Project command or by globally installing the Laravel installer via Composer. I will use Laravel installer to install Laravel 11, you can install it using this command. I have already installed Laravel installer on my system. In your terminal, type Laravel and press enter to view the Laravel installer version. Here, you can see the Laravel installer version 5.7.2, which is the latest version available at the moment. Now, type the command Laravel, new, your project name and press enter. You will see a prompt to install starter kit. We will not use any starter kit, so type none and press enter. Now you will be asked for testing frameworks, type 0 for PEST or type 1 for PHP unit. Now for git repository, type no and press enter. It will take some time to download, depending on your internet connection, so please wait for the download to complete. Now you will be asked, which database your application will use. Type MySQL and press enter. Now you will be asked to run default database migrations, type no and press enter. It will take some time to install the dependencies, depending on your internet connection. The download has been completed. Now type cd your project name and press enter to navigate to the project directory. Now open your project in Visual Studio Code. Open.env file. Copy this database name. While it's not necessary to create a database for this tutorial, we'll still create one for our project. Go to your browser and open phpMyAdmin. Click on New. Paste the database name here and click on Create to create the database. The database has been created. Click here and open a new terminal. Now type the command php artisan migrate to migrate the database. You can see the migration was successful. Now type the command php artisan serve to run our Laravel 11 app. Go to your browser and type localhost 8000 and press enter. 
you will see the new Laravel 11 welcome page. Scroll down and you will see PHP and Laravel versions. Here you can see Laravel version is 11.5.0 and PHP version is 8.2.0. Now, let's install Bootstrap. Click here and open a new terminal. Now type the command npm i d bootstrap at popper js slash core sas. Here we are using dash d flag to install bootstrap, popper js and sas as dev dependencies. Bootstrap, Popper.js, and SAS have been installed successfully. Open package.json file. Here you can see Popper.js, Bootstrap and SAS have been installed as dev dependencies. Here, you'll find the node underscore modules folder, where all the dependencies are installed. Create a folder named SAS inside the resources folder. Now create app.scss file in the SAS folder. Here we will import all of Bootstrap source SAS. Type at import, in single quotes, type bootstrap slash scss slash bootstrap semicolon. Open app.js file which is in the resources slash js folder. Here we will import all of bootstrap's js. Type import star as bootstrap, from, in single quotes, bootstrap, semicolon. Now we can reference bootstrap script and styles in at vblade directive, in the head tag of welcome.blade.php file. Open welcome.blade.php file. Remove entire code. Type exclamation mark and press tab key to create HTML skeleton. Enter title. Add it v directive. Add an array. In single quotes, first, type resources forward slash sas forward slash app.scss to reference scss file. Add a comma. Now in single quotes, type resources forward slash js forward slash app.js to reference js file. Go to Bootstrap website. Click on Docs. Click on Alerts component. Click here to copy the code. Paste the copied code in the body tag. Now we need to use npm run dev command, which is used to compile and watch your application's JavaScript and CSS assets. In your terminal, type the command npm run dev to compile and watch Bootstrap JS and CSS assets. Go to your browser. Reload the page and you will see Bootstrap alerts. Let's add a modal to check if Bootstrap JavaScript is working properly or not. Click on Modal Component. Click here to copy the code. Paste the copied code here. Go to your browser. Click on the modal button and you will see the modal, which indicates that Bootstrap JavaScript is working properly. Let's create a layout file. Create layouts folder in the views folder. Now, create app.blade.php file in the layouts folder. Type exclamation mark and press tab key to create HTML skeleton. 
In the title tag, use double curly braces to enclose config, app.name, comma, Laravel, to dynamically fetch the title. This expression retrieves the application name from the configuration file. If the application name is not set, it defaults to Laravel. Now add at v directive. Add an array. In single quotes, first, type resources forward slash sas forward slash app.scss to reference scss file. Add a comma. Now in single quotes, type resources forward slash js forward slash app.js to reference js file. Add div element with id equals app. In the div element, add a yield directive specifying content inside parentheses. This directive is used to define a section of content that can be filled in by child views. Create dashboard.blade.php file in the views folder. First add at extends blade directive to specify which layout the child view should inherit. Next use the at section directive, including content inside parentheses, to define the content that will be injected into the at yield content directive. End the section with at end section directive. I have added a bootstrap card inside the at section directive. Open web.php file and add a route for dashboard view. Go to your browser and navigate to the dashboard route. You can see the bootstrap card of the dashboard view. Click here to copy the code of the modal. Open dashboard view file. Paste the code which you have copied. Go to your browser. Click on the button and you will see a modal, which indicates that Bootstrap JavaScript is working properly. Open welcome.blade.php file. Remove entire code. Add at extends blade directive to specify which layout the child view should inherit. Now add the at section directive, including content inside parentheses. End the section with at end section directive. Click here to copy the code. Paste the code which you have copied. Click on the navbar component. Click here to copy the navbar code. Paste the code here. Go to your browser. Navigate to the home page and you will see navbar and modal button. Click on the button and you will see a modal. In this video, we learned how to install Bootstrap in Laravel 11 application. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in next tutorial, till then stay safe.